G'day guys, it's Calvin from the Cartoon Company in New Zealand. It's time to reflash some 3 UZ ECUs, and this time I'm doing the 03 to 06, which is the 6 speed automatic transmission 3 UZ. You can tell them because they've got the throttle body with the, the big integrated TPS and motor plug. It's got like a 6 pin plug on it, and it's 6. That fella. So there's the motor and the TPS all in that one plug. As opposed to just a two pin and a TPS on the other side. See there's nothing on that side. That is the easiest way to spot the early 3UZ compared to the late 3UZ. They come out with a six speed transmission hanging off the back of them. It's a really, it's a really nice auto. Uh, we've got a few plans working with those autos. But we're only interested today in flashing the ECUs. So we've partnered up with uh, AllSwap in, the, in Russia. Part of the partnership deal, we've got Phoenix Engine Management in the UK doing that side of the world, and Quantum Autos in the USA. I'm about to just test run an engine, and I try to test run most of my ECUs where I can. Not always possible. But if I've got an engine set up, I try to throw them on, give them a run up and check it. The one that we're putting in is getting a pops and bangs tune. So it's when you're gonna back off the throttle at high RPM, it is gonna pop out the exhaust. If you're using that one, uh, I wouldn't recommend having catalytic converters in it because it is gonna do some damage to your converters. So I do highly recommend if you're getting that tune to, to uh, remove the converters. Otherwise, all our tunes will work well with converters. The sub auction sensors are flashed off in this particular case. So it will allow him to remove the converters or put a high flow converter in and not worry about the sub auction sensors. We sort of started this for conversions and engine swaps and removing immobilizers, but of course it swaps over to standard cars just fine. So this particular ECU I'm doing is going into a standard UZS 186 crown. So I've got my engine set up, just really quickly. Uh, we're gonna turn it on. Check light comes on, that's good. I better give it fuel. So normally I would uh, have it run off the ECU, but this is my, this is actually my bench test setup. And you'll see the, the fuel pump circuit hasn't been added yet. And oh, look at that. That's awesome. So that's for Josh with his crown. So it's off to Australia, so I can give it to you. No, just the ECU. So oh, you, and th that, was the, that was the pops and bangs tune. That's why it was popping and farting, or the fart tune. Jason happens to have a mate. He wants some pops. He wanted some pops. Oh, like we order flames with rotaries. Like you order flames with rotaries, yes. Okay, <laughs> same deal. This is on a standard ECU, so it'll pop, 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 pop. Or, or the fart tune. Jason's got a mate who wants to, it on his car. He's got the same setup, 186 crown, standard. So we might have to do a pop across and run it up and take his ECU out, mm. plug an ECU in and give it a try. Cool.
So that one's tested. I can, um, I'm gonna check some codes and stuff next. So I gotta plug in my scan tool, check it's all doing what it should. And um, then we send it away. I got my old faithful scan tool attached. And for you guys that are wiring up these ones, just a hint, because it's CAN bus, don't forget the CAN bus resistor. Uh, I've got a fuel pump primary circuit fault. Uh, yeah, probably because it's not fitted. And a brake switch, because there probably isn't one. It's a pass. Pops and farts tune. Pops and, pops and bangs tune, or the fart tune. Tested on the bench. Uh, yeah, we're all, we're all laughing. I haven't done um, a bench test on a fart tune before, so it's kind of funny. Great way to uh, begin the day. On to the next one. Let's uh, test a manual one, shall we? Okay, what have I got here? It says, uh, Phil's manual. Manual. <clears throat> when we do a five speed with manual, it needs to see 12 volts to a gear input. And that makes, with the changes made in the ECU, uh, it eliminates the need for any additional boxes like a little transmission emulator on the five speed <laughs> three UZ ECUs. Same thing applies here, no need for an emulator. However, don't even need to put any inputs into the ECU for the transmission at all, nothing. Just don't, let, you just take all the transmission wires out and you throw them away. Alrighty ho, uh, let's see, we do the same thing. I got the pedal, yep. Uh, we got the start button. We check, we've got a check light. Oh, that's always, that's good, isn't it? So far, so good. Oh, fuel pump. Got plenty of fuel. No pops and bags this time. No farts. Smooth, eh? Way different. Up here. Oh yeah, that's good. Just like on the one that I did for the auto, on this one, I check with the scan tool that the auto doesn't exist, that the computer doesn't pick up any fault codes or any existence of the transmission. This transmission's completely unplugged, not connected at all. The engine's been run like that. And again, no fault codes related to the transmission in the ECU. Probably should say why, why we reflash these, eh? So in this case, uh, the, the manual one is going into a uh, conversion, an engine swap. It's going into Hilux. The I also had a person the other day who wanted to do a, a manual transmission fitment or manual gearbox into his crown. So this would be the perfect option for that. Factory car, manual gearbox, factory ECU reflash to suit. Also, can do power increases, improve throttle, other tweaks within that tune to make it run better. And of course, we've had that fart tune if you wanted that as well. So, I hope that's been helpful. We'll talk again soon. Catch you later. Hello, mummy. I got your baby, eh? I've got your baby. Here's your baby. Yes? Oh. Good deal. You've done a lovely job. Hello, lamb. Off you go. Come back to mum. Up you get. Good little lamb. So that's a little ewe lamb. And these are wool shires. They, they shelf shed their wool. Mummy had her first. That's my first one. I think she's had a baby before. She's got a little bit of baggy udder. You know? didn't, didn't flush up the udder as much as I thought there, miss. Lovely job. Good little lamb. Oh, is it dinner time? Good looking lamb.